Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from interest.co.nz and welcome to 90 at 9, brought to you in association with the BNZ. This is your morning briefing where you get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock. Starting now with news, the New Zealand dollar is up to 68.6 US cents this morning. It's up almost two cents since the Reserve Bank hiked the official cash rate yesterday morning by 25 basis points to 2.75 per cent. The comments in the Reserve Bank's monetary policy statement was seen as slightly more hawkish, a little bit more concerned about inflation than some people were expecting. We're now looking at rate increases reasonably steady for the next couple of years, up to about 5.75 per cent, so that's up 300 basis points. Now that would push floating mortgage rates up near 9 per cent, from just under 6 per cent now. But however, the New Zealand dollar was also strong because the Dow rose strongly overnight, up 2.6 per cent. And the New Zealand dollar tends to rise when people are feeling great on international markets. Now the reason for that is that Chinese exports rose 48.5 per cent in May, much better than forecasts of a 32 per cent rise. There was also news of strong Australian jobs growth, 26,900 extra jobs in May, and the jobless rate fell to 5.2 per cent. There should be plenty of demand for New Zealand workers in Australia over the next year or two. Meanwhile, also some reasonably good news out of Europe. The ECB, the European Central Bank, says it will keep buying bonds and it's left its official cash rate at 1%. The Bank of England also held its rate at 0.5% and pledged to carry on with its plan to buy £200 billion worth of bonds. This is supporting markets. I'm Bernard Hickey. That was 90 at 9, brought to you in association with the BNZ. Thank you.